this prick fires out a communist word salad. Roll it! Do you support the creation of an independent Palestinian state in order to achieve peace in the region? I'd have to see, but before we do that... Okay, he's not going to answer the question again. Again. Continue. The problem we have is that we spend all the money. So they kill us on trade. I made great trade deals with the European nations. Because no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You sunk this $8 trillion in the hole. You add them up. They're about the same size economically. Their economy is about the same size as the United States. Yeah, and, would, and they give half the money combined. No cars, no, they don't want anything that we have. Bullshit, that's a lie. We're supposed to take their cars, their food, their everything, their agriculture. That's a lie. I changed that. But the big no, thing, you didn't. No, you didn't. I changed is they don't want to pay. And the only reason... Bullshit, bullshit, not to mention, they're right on the front. The day these idiots attack, which they have, they're the ones that are putting up their citizens at, in, a, in a hot war, okay? We're a half a world away fighting from behind, okay? Yeah, you prick. That he can play games with NATO. What do you mean play games? It's a matter of life and death. It's a war, you asshole, talking about playing games. A Putin talking point, son of a bitch. It's because I got them to put up hundreds of billions of dollars. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. That's bullshit. I said, and he's right about this. I said, no, I'm not going to support NATO if you don't pay. Bullshit. That is a Russian talking point. A Russian talking point. Not to mention, his plane, a day after this, in Virginia, was parked right next to the Russian diplomat's plane. Okay? Yeah. This is a fucking traitor prick. They asked me that question. Would you guard us against Russia? At a very secret meeting of the... Bullshit. Bullshit. 28 uh, states at that time, uh, nations at that time. And they said, no, if you don't pay, I won't do that. And you know what happened? Oh, fuck off, you communist prick. The day we get it, if we were ever to be attacked, they would come and help us, you asshole. That's how this works. Happened. Billions and billions of dollars came flowing in the next... That's nonsense. ...day in the next month. That's nonsense. But now we're in the same position. We're paying everybody's bills. Bullshit, you asshole. Let's turn to the issue of democracy. Uh, former President Trump, uh, I want to ask you about January 6, 2021. After you rallied your supporters that day, some of them stormed the Capitol to stop the constitutionally mandated counting of electoral votes. As president, you swore... Yeah, you, you, you're traitor pricks that went with those blue ass rags with your name on them, and then they went and shitted on us, Okay. No, to quote, preserve, protect, and defend, unquote, the Constitution. What do you say to voters who believe that you violated that oath through your actions and inaction on January 6th and worry that you'll do it again? Well, oh, I gotta hear this. I gotta hear this. Too many believe that. And let me tell you about January 6th. On January 6th, uh -huh. we had a great border. What? Nobody coming. Answer the People question. Answer the question. On January 6th, we were energy independent. On we are energy independent. We're putting out more oil than ever before, you asshole. January 6th, we had the lowest taxes ever. Bullshit. We had the lowest regulations ever. Bullshit. On January 6th, we were respected all over the world. Bullshit. Bullshit. That was a day that respect for us went in the gutter because of you and your parasitic mouth breathers. All over the world, we're respected. And bullshit. Bullshit. We're respected now. Now, if you don't believe we're respected, just ask your handler, Putin. Biden, from a half a world away, has sent him back 600,000 dead soldiers. Okay? And he comes in, and we're now left at. No, we're not. No, we're not. Like a bunch of stupid people. Bullshit. The, what happened to the United States' reputation under Yeah, the on January 6th, he's fixed it. He has had to go and repair your cancerous mess. This man's leadership is horrible. Bullshit. Bullshit. And by the way, by the way, he hasn't answered the question, and CNN won't do anything about it. Including weaponization, which I'm sure... Now, what weaponization, you asshole? You're a criminal, and now they're holding you accountable, you shithead.